punch was correct. I kind of hide my club behind my back, like a guilty party, and look around, like, um, and just kind of like start to weasel it into my belt and maneuvering it around to my side. <laughs> no reason. I'm actually. I'm actually playing on one of my flaws, but instead of stopping to take notes, I stop to try to stop it. I don't run from it. At all. I'm sort of playing my flaw, flaw a tad bit different. Okay. Sorry, was that was that J5 is alive that, that said something before that? Yeah, um, so... You said the original human didn't look too well, and uh, knowing that Egan clubbed him in the back of the head and said no resisting, he kind of sticks his club behind his back like a guilty party and, you know, kind of tries to nonchalantly put it in his belt loop from behind his back and then weasel it around to his hip okay, and kind fair. of, like, mosey up to the rest of the group like, hey, guys, no resisting. <laughs> Well, we got the. We have it contained now. Was uh, before I, I get to you guys speaking to the half orc. Was for those of you who were at the uh, at the dwarf. Um, did did you have any other questions for the dwarf, or was that it? I thought we heard everything we needed. Sorry, if someone said something, I didn't hear it. I already heard whatever we needed to hear. Okay, fair. Uh, so basically, uh, you're all heading back to the uh, Emerald Enclave individual then? Yes. Uh, with the two thoroughly covered up in something that would keep it from trying to jump out too much. Keep a cover of flowers, obviously. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm going to put the dwarf. For a Maybe take the dwarf Question and the all. human over to the Emerald Enclave guy also. So yeah. what, what was that? You're going to... Escort the dwarf and the human that originally had the tooth over to, to, over to the Emerald Enclave guy that started asking yeah. about so you, so you start to bring the dwarf over the dwarf will will come over uh the you drag the human but but you can tell that at this point he's dead um and and so basically you bring them over you bring the tooth over uh and that's not my fault <laughs> i didn't do that you killed him i didn't do that <laughs> i'm sorry hmm no, that's that's fair. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically you you bring it over and and he's like, thank you very much for your assistance. Uh, this is exactly what we were worried about happening. We weren't sure what it was, but but obviously you found what we were looking for. Uh, obviously. Well, it, it... I'm just lucky enough. I understood what I needed to do, and the fact it was following the trail of flowers. And I decided to make myself a most obvious target with the tooth in hand. Thank you and very much. It definitely also. seemed to have done the trick. Uh, um, definitely for, for all your assistance, uh, we are willing to offer a roar to you all. Uh, we have a uh, hundred gold uh, for you guys to to split uh, H? H. no unfortunately <laughs> not um, and obviously if you are willing to uh, provide us with the tooth uh, we can provide you with a potion of healing to compensate for that so we can we can investigate it further well each as I'm the one that has the tooth being neutral good she's like well I might not be of the same clan as I'm from um, Lord's Alliance, but I understand the importance of this. And she just gently hands the tooth over, but on the inside, it's all the she'd sort of put the flowers around me on the inside. 
to try to keep it contained to the tooth. Fair. As she wraps the rest of it up, so you really can't see the flowers, but she lets them know that those flowers are on the inside. Why are we giving the tooth back? Because that's what we were hired to do. Yes. Well, I mean, we could keep it. Why not? You, you. So, in all fairness, I will let you know that I, I wanted you to investigate, and and deal with the threat with the the breaking of the item and and the way it is now. It's no longer a threat. Um, I, I can tell that it's no longer a threat. Um, but as I mentioned, it, it is something that we can observe and and gather more information from. Uh, it, it, I did not hire you to obtain it. I hired you to get information which you've done, which you earned your 100 gold for. If you wish to keep it, then you will not get the potion of healing. If you don't wish to keep it, then I can give you. A, I can offer you a potion of healing in exchange. As a researcher, I'm actually she. I'm actually just going to go. Here you go. I'd rather have it properly researched with people that can do it. I don't know what you guys are thinking. This is a dangerous item to have. And she has a look of disgust with some of the others. We should keep it. Egan kind of reaches down and touches his club and looks at Chrisley and goes, No resisting. She literally pulls out her hand going, Do you want to get cold on you? Uh, other than Lopan, is anyone else uh, not want, is, is not okay with giving up the tooth? Because it seems the majority is, so I'm going to go with the majority if that's what it is. No, I think we should. We, we have somebody who's in the faction. Yep, fair. Okay. Uh, so, basically, uh, the, he thanks you very much for, for it. Uh, they uh, give you the... Uh, he gives you the 100 gold, uh, they give you the uh, potion of healing, which you guys can figure out how you're going to do that. Uh, and you also, uh, basically, because you took the bag earlier and stuff like that, uh, and things like that, you do also end up finding, uh, in the scuffle and stuff like that and around when you're looking around, uh, there is a uh, gem that you guys uh, are able to split that was worth 50 gold that you find kind of in the, the ruckus. It, it All right. came loose or, or somehow it, it ended up there, and you guys end up finding that to split as well. Okay, great. great. Hmm. Where you distribute, I think the party sheet doesn't have the right people in it. No, I know for yeah. a fact it doesn't. Only two. There's only one person that has the proper person. That's me. None of the others are because you in guys the party sheet. The map, like it's what it's going to be is it's going to be uh, uh, twenty-one gold each, and and you guys can figure out how the potion of healing is going to work. Well, I just threw my twenty in the twenty in the uh, which my jigger. I just figured we would roll off for it. Yep. So if everyone um, else wants to roll, Egan's rolled. This is for the healing. I'm not even gonna roll. Yeah. This is for the potion uh, of healing. Me neither. Well, the reason is, my character has the scroll from last session, so she is actually can't be in it. Well, this doesn't um, count as a magic item, Yeah, it's a right? consumable yeah, it's, magic it's item. Consumable. It doesn't count as a permanent. You can, you can roll if you wanted to, Silver. Does that scroll count as a consumable item, which is non-magical? It, it's a consumable magic item, which doesn't count towards your permanent magic item account. So if you actually put that on your log as a permanent magic item, take it off, because it doesn't actually count it towards your magic item account. <sighs> Oh, I actually did. Yeah, good Good thing you came back and learned that. Yeah, no, unless it's a permanent magic item. Like, if it's something that's a one-use, or like Potion of Healing or Scrolls or stuff like that, they don't count towards your permanent magic item. Okay. I just fixed it. I did not know. I was counting it because I thought it was. Now, how come Low Pan rolled with advantage for the potion? Because Low I can? I don't think so. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I even overlooked that part. <laughs> I even overlooked that part. That's funny. That was a roll even after they already rolled. So yeah. 
Okay, so it uh, looks like uh, Kolg, you're the winner. Yep. And you guys will be happy to know that you, by not taking the tooth, it's actually a good thing because it's not a good item to have on your character. <laughs> yeah, I actually was. Yeah, I figured it was a, a bad, nasty item. Basically, um, I already had an idea that it was not item to have to begin with. Yeah, basically. Which is the reason why I was going to give it to them no matter what you said. I'm going to turn the volume on your voice down. Oh, sorry. Yeah, bas basically anyone who holds holds the item gets uh, lightning vulnerability, so it's good thing you gave it up. <laughs> well, that's a nasty effect. It is. <laughs> um, so. No, it is a very nasty effect. Even though we're wrapping, I gotta take a bio break. I'll be right back. Yep. And uh, Roger, basically, brother. at this point, people can do their logs. Uh, those of you who don't have my DCI number, I'm about to put it in. Um, now, how many downtime days did we get with this? Uh, you five? Have five downtime days for this. 21 gold and 100 XP. Oh, I figured the 100 XP. And no renown because it's not my alliance, and no magic yes. items. If you are Emerald Enclave, you will get one renown. Last session really came in handy for my character. How many of us in last session were the Lord's Alliance? There were quite a few of you, I think. <laughs> I think it was two or three. Are you, okay, a... are you distributing the experience, or do we just add a um, hundred percent XP? Yeah, add a hundred XP. I, I don't... just added it. Normally, if it's if the if the golden stuff is is more complicated than this, I'll I'll use the packages. But if it's just twenty one gold each, one hundred XP, and and the five downtime days, I I figure it's easy enough for you guys to put on your sheet. Oh yeah, no problem. If anyone wants me to do your log, let me know and I can do it for you. But I find most people like to do their own. Oh, it was just a matter of fact. I'm used to doing my logs by heart. You should it's probably, done. You should probably get used to actually making sure that your logs are, are done in case you want to play outside of Fantasy Ground. And even in Fantasy Ground, at the lower levels, people tend not to worry too much because you're not going to have things out of the ordinary. But once you get to the point where you have magic items or you have unusual like story rewards and stuff like that, people are going to want to see it or else they're not going to let you play. Mm. Oh no, I, re I record everything. Oh, okay, you, you memorize it and then you record it on paper later, you mean? No, no. I put it onto this. I record in the adventure notes what I've got. Oh yeah, perfect. Well, I'm very happy to report that I just moved to second level. Um, Congrats. Yeah. Needless to say, I'm glad it was me. I had a high enough arcana check to understand what was going on. Okay. Really good thing to have a high enough arcana. I almost wish I was a uh, wizard instead, but I'm like, I wouldn't have had that fantastic role making the guy believe that the food was fantastic. What <laughs> was all the XP and downtime and all that? 100 XP, 21 gold, and 5 downtime days. Uh, and for those of you who are interested, I, I know I have a, quite a few other things booked this, next, or this week and the next couple weeks. Uh, I'm going to plan to run the fifth module of this, probably the first full week of September sometime, so keep your eyes open if you want to continue on and finish this up. I'm definitely wanting to continue on, and that's always going to be with Chrisley. I knew I was playing a half-elf sorcerer, I just couldn't remember her name. And Renown is only if you're in Emerald Enclave? Emerald Enclave for this one, yeah. Basically how these D-Dexes work is usually each one is one Renown in, in one of the five each. Yeah. Yeah, I like playing with you a lot, Tempo. You're a good DM. Um, just keep me posted, please. Can you do me a favor and tell me, what was the name of your uh, actual game? Was it like, uh, what did you name it again? What 